The purpose of this video is to show the importance of selecting the correct impeller diameter for solid suspension. We are showing three tanks with different impeller diameters running at different speeds but at the same power draw as power is a function of impeller speed times the diameter. The first tank shows an impeller diameter of 0.25 dt, diameter of the impeller versus diameter of the tank, running at 73 rpm. It is clearly shown that the solids are not properly suspended in this tank. The second tank has a DT ratio of 0.4, running at 461 RPM, so much slower. In this tank, you can actually see that the solids are suspended and there is no solids that are settled on the bottom of the tank, which is a common cause of agitator failures in the field. The third video shows a very large impeller diameter at 182 RPM, the DT of 0.6, and the flow is actually trapped below the impeller, constricted below the impeller, so that the solids cannot be suspended. And the fourth video is simply to show that no matter how fast you run that large impeller, you do have a choked application where the solids are simply not able to be to travel up the sides of the tank and be suspended throughout the tank. Very often in the field, you know, we find that in agitators that are installed in tanks are too small, running at a very high speed. The reason for that is that it is a much less expensive agitator to manufacture because the impeller diameter is smaller and the gearbox is smaller since it will have. Um, less of reduction ratio. What can be seen though is that the flow simply does not reach the ends of the tank and the solids cannot be suspended. It is important for solid suspension to have a DT ratio of 38 to 42% or 0.38 to 0.42.